Now, it seems like Fear the Walking Dead is repeating the same Morgan mistake in Season 8, just when you thought the showrunners had already learned their lesson. How, you ask? Well, it looks like they're about to repeat the same storyline they used in the show's sixth season. Yes, trust me, there's a reason it won't pan out nicely. Now, if you remember what happened in the Season 7 finale, it's been revealed that the Big Bad is actually the Padre Group. So yeah, Lenny James Morgan wasn't too chummy with this new villain group from the Walking Dead franchise, which by the way was directly related to Kim Dickens' eagerly awaited reappearance as Madison. And yet, they're not too cool with each other. I mean, who would be? After they kidnapped his adopted daughter? Heck no! Now, the thing is, Fear the Walking Dead's upcoming season will be its final, according to AMC. So obviously, the show will take up where Season 7 left off by continuing Madison and Morgan's fight with Padre, at least according to a recently released synopsis. In addition to that, it appears that this fight will last the entire season. So that's one long fight if you ask me. According to the synopsis, Morgan and Madison will deal with Padre's cynical rule in the second half of the 12-episode plot, which has left their group members demoralized and dejected. All you, if you can hear me, Sounds a little bit too familiar. Well, damn straight it does. It's because FTW already told the eighth season's plot. I mean, just think about it. If the main characters of Fear the Walking Dead living under the governance of an authoritarian society sound familiar, it's because similar events have occurred in the world of The Walking Dead before. This was not only exactly what the Alexandrians went through in The Walking Dead Season 11, but Morgan's group also found themselves in the situation. Okay, to recap, the characters were forced into an awful arrangement with Virginia in the Season 5 finale when they were surrounded by the pioneers and had no choice but to abide by their laws. Although some people tried to make it work, Virginia's attempts to force their will on them ultimately failed. Like honestly, the show needs to pipe it down by making Morgan the hero. It's not the first time they pulled something like this off. And from what we're seeing in the synopsis, it looks like Morgan and Madison are responsible for defending the group from Padre. I mean, can it get any more predictable than that? The decision to make Morgan the protagonist of the plot was criticized heavily in Season 6. I mean, come on, there are a lot of pretty good candidates out there who could have led the struggle. But no, it had to be him. At least as per the showrunner's instructions. And mind you, the cast of Fear the Walking Dead includes a number of individuals that are connected to the series before Morgan did. And yet FTWD still gave The Walking Dead's crossover character the opportunity to steal the show. While other characters were given opportunities to participate in the action, Fear the Walking Dead was clear that Morgan was Virginia's real adversary. I mean, that much we can tell you, since it's pretty obvious from her tenacious campaign to overthrow him. So, what I'm trying to say is, we want something new, something original. You watch from the outside. You should rebuild the world, Victor. You should help. It's hardly the most creative way for Fear the Walking Dead to end to have the main group rely on Morgan to save them from a community ruled by villains. After all, the show has put them in a comparable scenario with Strand by evoking the Virginia narrative from season six. Do you know what they need to do? I think Fear the Walking Dead must highlight Padre's distinctions from earlier adversaries while giving Daniel, Luciana, and the other characters significant character arcs. I mean, it's all wishful thinking, but they could do that if they wanted to differentiate Season 8 from the battles with Virginia and Strand. As the spin-off of The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead was the hope of many fans that it would be a better show than its predecessor. What I care about, I swear to God, I will come for you, Victor. But boy, oh boy, were we all wrong. I mean, sure, it had a good start, but come season four, they started to introduce more and more characters from the main series. And probably the worst mistake they made is to have the show revolve around Morgan Jones. I mean, yeah, he's interesting, but he's not high up in the fan favorites list, to be honest. 
Like, if you've been watching for the past three seasons, you're more or less sure which character is your favorite or not, right? All of us have our picks. So a Morgan-focused story, what were the creators and writers thinking? I mean, I too would be pissed if the new character introduced in season four suddenly became the star of the show. So yeah, these are just my two cents about the FTWD season eight storyline. But you know what else I think? The writers need to get out of their box and give the fans what they want. In fact, I gathered a couple of ideas. For one, is it too much to ask for Austin Emilio's Dwight and Christine Evangelista's Sherry to have a happy ending? We're out there. Don't know if any of you are listening, but if you are... The couple also crossed over from the main series, but unlike the others, their storylines weren't given much attention. Unlike Morgan. And let's not forget that the two learned that they were about to be parents at the end of season 7. So it's only natural that they want to find a secure home where they can live in peace. These two deserve a happy ending. Like come on, give it to us. Especially after all they went through at the hands of Jeffrey Dean Morgan's Negan. And since we'll also be seeing the return of Kim Dickens' Madison Clark, isn't it only natural that we get to see more of her storyline? I mean, we all thought she was pretty much dead already which it turns out she's not. Of course, I also have to address the elephant in the room. How exactly she escaped that in season seven? And by that, I mean when she locked herself in with a community ablaze plagued by a horde of zombies. Everybody assumes she died, but since a body wasn't recovered, many are already confident that she'll be making her return. The season seven finale of Fear the Walking Dead doesn't explicitly answer how Madison managed to escape Del Diamond but Kim Dickens' character suggests it did so by telling Morgan, I'm full of surprises. More of Madison, please. Oh, and before I forget, season eight's also got to address how Morgan will find out something about Andrew Lincoln's character, Rick Grimes. I mean, I really don't know how they are gonna pull that off, but they have to. Until now, Morgan doesn't know that Rick is a member of the Civic Republic military. But because he started his story with Rick on The Walking Dead, he's got to address at least his longtime friend in one way or another, right? And the one thing fans and viewers alike want to see the most is a mother-daughter reunion between Alicia Debnam Carey's Alicia and Madison. If you remember, Debnam Carey's character left the show during the finale of season seven. Now, why would they deny fans of this reunion? Hopefully this upcoming season, we get to see these two characters reunite. It's what they deserve. So this has been today's episode of how Fear the Walking Dead is repeating the same Morgan mistake in season eight.